So in this Starfield video, I'm going to be showing you all eight different player homes and how to get them for your guys' convenience. Hope you all find this enjoyable. Let's go ahead and get into these. This first one I'm going to be going over requires you to do some of the United Colonies faction quest line, which you start this by talking to Commander Twala, which you run into this guy pretty early in the game. But yeah, eventually after you complete the Friends Like These mission that's a part of the UC questline, you will be able to purchase an apartment for 30000 You can figure out where to go to purchase this apartment after completing that quest just by going down to Activities and choosing this right here, Speak to Zora. This will lead you to the person that you can purchase the apartment from. Keep in mind you can also purchase this apartment if you just choose the United Colonies trait. That'll speed up the process of being able to purchase this. Either way, I recommend doing the UC faction questline because it is really beneficial. And yeah, if you want to buy it, you can find the apartment down in the well of New Atlantis. And yeah, here's what it looks like. I mean, there's not like tons of room in here to build, but I mean, hey, it was only 30,000, so. Anyways, there's also another player home that you'll get from the UC faction questline. Once you fully complete it, you'll unlock the penthouse that's located in New Atlantis. All you have to do is once you complete the questline, just head back to the person where you're able to purchase the apartment from and she'll register you to have the penthouse. Also, once again, to find where it's at, all you have to do is go to activities and choose the option that states visit your new penthouse in New Atlantis. But yeah, here is what the penthouse looks like. It's so amazing. Look how spacious this is. And it's completely free. Like you just gotta get through the UC quest line and bada bing bada boom. You own this place. Freaking awesome. Look at the view too up here. So cool. Definitely one of my favorite places you can get in the game that I know of, that is. Look at the floor in the kitchen. Oh my gosh. Gotta love the doors. Little storage room or whatever you want to make in there. A ginormous bathroom. An amazing bedroom. Another bathroom. Connected with your bedroom. So amazing. And also there's a view here too. Right outside of your bedroom. There's the spaceport down there. You can see my spaceship. <laughs> this is so amazing. And that's not it. There's also a place where you can do your laundry and stuff in here. A little laundry area. And another bedroom. Look at that chandelier. So many rooms you can decorate inside this place. I know players are going to make amazing things within this. But yeah, definitely keep in mind to do the UC quest line because... Well, this is a place you can get. <laughs> Freaking amazing. Two bathrooms, multiple bedrooms. Oh, and I forgot this room over here too. Connected with the main living room. Anyways, let's carry on with the others. I got plenty to go over in this video. All right, so this next place that's available for purchase will be located in the system of Vali at Neon. So once you're at Vali, just head over to Vali Alpha and this is where you can find the Neon City at. I'll just go ahead and teleport to Neon Core. 
All right, so once you get here, you just want to head this way. This way will lead you to the Astral Lounge, which is the club at this place. So once you're in here, you just want to head and talk to Boone Morgan, which he's located up here. He's the bartender for this place. This is the guy who will sell you one of the player homes. This is the guy who will sell you the player homes. This is the guy who will sell you a player home. It's a penthouse. And I will say this player home is extremely expensive for no reason to. You're about to see, it's super small. But yeah, as you can see, it costs 235,000 credits. Let's go ahead and purchase this and I'll give you all a tour of this one. But yeah, once you purchase it, just pull up your menu and then go down to your missions and then go to activities. And then if you select this one, visit your Sky Suite in the Neon Trade Tower. This will show you exactly where you gotta go to find your new home that you can build in. It'll be located right down here from the Astral Lounge. Just head in this elevator here and then choose Sky Suite. And here's a quick tour of the place. Gotta say, they definitely waxed us for the price. Here's the view. Of course, it's only this expensive because of where it's located at in the city, right next to the club. <laughs> but yeah, that's a tour over this small place. I mean, you could really jam pack this place with stuff too. It's just super small, especially for its price. But anyways, carrying on. Speaking of small, this next one is even smaller, but it has a reasonable price. This one will be located over at the ebb side at Neon. So from the elevator that we took to go to uh, the Sky Suite, we just want to head this way. And over here, we take a left and head down this alley. This will lead us to ebb side. Once over here, just go and talk to this lady here. She'll sell you a sleep crate for 6,500 credits. So, yeah, from something super expensive to something extremely cheap in the game. So, yeah, when you purchase it, once again, to locate the home, all you got to do is go to missions and then go to activities. And, yeah, just highlight this. Visit your sleep crate unit in Neon. And, yeah, you can find your luxurious sleep crate right here. And once again, you can build in it, but you don't really got much room to place things. Not much room for anything, but hey, I mean, it's better than nothing. I'm sure someone that's really good at decorating and stuff could really deck out this place if they wanted. All right, anyways, moving on. So these next places that we can purchase will be located over in Aquila City, which that's located at the Cheyenne system, in case you don't know. Which is located right here. Once over here, just head to Aquila and then fast travel to Aquila City. Alright, so once here to find the person that you can purchase the home from, just follow the route that I take. I gotta say, this is probably my favorite place, one of my favorite places that we can visit in this game. I love this city. I get that fallout vibe when traversing through it. I don't know. But yeah, right over here is where we can find the guy that we can purchase the home from. If he's not here for you, which may be the case sometimes because he does go out and about and walk around, but eventually he will show up here. You just gotta wait a minute here. So yeah, as you can see, this guy will have two different places he can sell you. One is the Core Manor, and the other one is the Midtown Home. The Core Manor one is going to be more expensive than the Midtown Home. As you can see, the pricing for the Core Manor one is going to be 78000 and the pricing for the Midtown home will be worth $45,000. let us go ahead and showcase the cheaper one first for the $45,000. And then I'll show you the $78,000 one next. So yeah, this is what the outside of the place looks like. And heading on in, here's what it looks like inside. Definitely spacious, especially comparing to the Neon City Sky Suite one and the price of that one. All 
right now, let me go ahead and show you the one that's worth 78,000. You have made my year with this. This one's located literally right behind him. He's right outside of this one. As you can see, here's what it looks like on the outside. And here's what it looks like on the inside. Oh yeah, this one is awesome. Plenty of room to work with in here. You even head outside right here as well. This is another way where you can enter and exit from. All right, so this next one will be over the dream home. You can get this one by choosing the dream home traits in the beginning when you're creating your character. Choosing this trait will make it so you'll have a luxurious customizable home on a peaceful planet called Nisoy. This is actually a really, really nice customizable house. Probably one of the best in the game. But once again, you're going to have to choose this trait in the beginning for this to become available. It's totally up to you if you want to. But yeah, I'll go ahead and show you real quick on how to get this and I'll be giving a tour of this place too. So after the one small step main mission, which this is one of the first main missions that you had to do, once you do this one, the Dream Home side mission will become available. All you have to do is just highlight the uh, side quest, and this will help you navigate to your Dream Home on the Soy. You don't have to technically go to Hollyfield and New Atlantis and talk to him about your mortgage. You can just fast travel to Nasoi immediately, unless you have the 125,000 credits that's required to purchase the Dream Home, because that's what Hollyfield is going to ask you. If you don't, well then you'll just have to do a monthly fee uh, for the Dream Home, which isn't bad at all. I don't expect anyone to have 125,000 in the beginning, right after the one small step quest. But yeah, as you can see, if you chose the Dream Home trait, you'll have your home on the soy that you can visit. And this is like one of the biggest homes that you can build in. It's awesome. Let's go ahead and exit out of our ship. And yeah, check this out. This is our front yard. <laughs> so cool. This location literally just has your home on it right here. Look at these stairs going up to it. Alright, so yeah, when you approach the door, here's what it'll state. Gal Bank has locked your house until you make an interest-only mortgage payment of 500 credits. Your payment will give you one week of access before the next payment is due or until the mortgage has been paid in full, which the full payment is 125,000 once again. But yeah, paying 500 credits per week isn't bad at all. You'll have plenty of credits available, especially in a week of time. But yeah, here's a tour of it. If you want to build in it just approach this right here just like all the other uh, homes that I showed you just find this thing and this will make it so you could start building in your player home freaking awesome here's the kitchen two fridges in this one already a cooking station available in this one too Here's like a living room area or a game room or whatever you choose to decorate this area like inside here is a awesome looking bathroom unfortunately in case you're wondering you can't use the showers either I'm sure there'll be a mod that'll come out though that'll allow us to do that eventually you know how modders are they create all kinds of stuff. Here's the upstairs bathroom. You also can't use the toilet either in case you're curious about that. Tons of toilet paper right there. Anyways, carrying on down this hall to the left here. 
This is one of the bedrooms. And then over here is another bedroom. And then this leads us to our balcony, which gives us an overview of the place. As you can see, a little grill right here. <laughs> In case you are curious, your companions can follow you up to your base too. But yeah, that's a tour of the dream home. Gotta say, this one and the penthouse that you can get in New Atlantis and the core manor at Aquila City are my favorites that I showcased in this video. I'm curious what your guys' favorites are. But yeah, I guess that's our wrapping up this video, everyone. Hope you all found this enjoyable and it helps you out in some kind of way. I'm out of here, though. Consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on the video. And also consider subscribing, too, for plenty more Starfield content. I'll be continuing to upload videos over this game for a very long time. But yeah, until next time, everyone. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Peace.